Hi, let's talk about semi leds company that manufactures and sells light emitting uh, diode uh, LED chips, uh, LED components and uh, LED models and systems in the US, Taiwan, Netherlands, Germany, Japan, Ireland and internationally. For information should not consider investment advice. The earnings have grown uh, over 50% of the past five years, it has high level share price, significant insider selling, and uh, shareholders have been dilated in the past year and does not have meaningful revenue, which is currently 5 million. There is also one of the more risks yeah, about the capitalization, so 22 million based on simple Wall Street doesn't sound great. But the price went pretty much up since uh, it last peak on uh, mid-February, where many of the small companies had uh, them they peaks on uh, yeah February mid-February, but there was an earnings update uh, that made stock price pretty much go up uh, one year return 144 percent, beating the industry, beating the market. Yeah, as I said, price volatility considered as the highest and uh, valuation side, unfortunately, simple Wall Street, neither the tip ranks has not forecasted, but luckily the market watch has a stock price target at average of $30. So there's quite a bit of the upside, which is pretty good. And uh, yeah, future growth for the semiconductor industry, 15.9%. Past performance, historical annual earning growth over 50%, which is very good, but the company is currently unprofitable. Financial health side, we see here that uh, equity is uh, decreasing almost every year and the debt level increased just a few years ago and yeah debt to equity ratio is almost 500 percent which is considered very high and yeah the depth level almost 8 million equity 1.6 million cash 2 million yeah the balance sheet looks pretty on a half like red on the liabilities they are not paying dividends and insider trading so who who was the selling the stock ownership uh, yeah there's an individual that have been selling uh, in february 9th of yeah when the it was the peak so uh, he sold it but uh at max price five so it's currently 9.7 76 percent up uh, by today today's trading and uh, ownership breakdown general public 54 percent private companies 26 insiders 12 hedge funds five institutions one top shareholders so i think that's not fresh data yet so november last year december november november december november okay february and also February yeah so he's actually the, the one that have been selling the stocks 11.5 sold at the price 57 yeah so he's left current valuation 11k left but there is on both sides so other one insider of the member of the board directors have been buying also one of the yeah members was buying also brain sand technology decreased 2.5 percent anyway as i said that uh, it's highly volatile share price it is and uh, yeah there's pretty risky to enter this so the insider was selling 9 of february so yeah around here Max price five. Okay, not bad, but yeah, I think he doubled 
if you will or actually not so this look long term looks positive but the volumes are getting high so be careful this is uh, same of previous stocks that I've been researching if there's a lot of positive news somebody of the big players is uh, selling so be aware the I found uh, I recently noted that uh, whenever the price drops very significantly uh, there's bad news there's uh, not as a not not similar to bankruptcy or something but there's a, just uh, like deal didn't close to something they didn't get the deal or something the price goes pretty deeply down the institutions usually buy from the bottom then they could wait like for years or one year or six months then there is a coming good news that they are merging or that uh, they are acquiring or they are getting acquired uh, or they getting the big deal the price could possibly pump yeah, if we use this company for example from the 3 to yeah even 10 12 or 14 so there's a highest point 13.44 as you can see here yeah so be aware at what price you're buying because if because it's not so difficult to see is it on its peak was the peak uh, overpassed or are you buying on bottom is there any news because if there's good news it mean highly that uh, yeah it's it's not so big deal to buy at the, the hype and uh, yeah be aware because I don't want you to lose your money and I don't want to lose uh, like my money when I am investing in some of the company and uh, by the way I never short so I usually like you guys commenting I usually like uh, dramatization during the dramatization of the companies that are they are highly volatile they uh, don't even enter yes because for example if you look at the S&P 500 they are performing very well so one year like if we open up they're mostly on the positive side but some of the mid or the small companies they could be yeah like down and a lot so there's even an uh, s p 500 companies that made a minus like you can see 18 percent or is there yeah vertex 21 Regeneron 60 inside corporation minus 17 so there's there's few companies but if you look overall 72 71 41 Tesla made uh, in one year 336 percent it doesn't mean that it's going to go this way ho uh, like ho every time it's uh, passing the year or uh, or like continuously growing but uh, they are more quality than the small or mid camp companies but uh, I know from my side I have been like uh, I brought some of the S&P 500 companies then I thought like uh, my risk-taking abilities could allow me to buy some of the volatile share price I was entering one of the stocks that uh, went from its peaks like minus 20 percent it drops from the peaks I thought yeah okay I could enter it could turn up again what I did I brought the stock and it went down so it went down even 30 percent so 
if I would buy on, on its peak, it would be like uh, minus 50 or minus 60. But since I waited for uh, it could went like down, I knew it, it, it would went down uh, like minus 20%. I thought it would uh, go parabolic. It didn't. So uh, yeah, it went minus 30%. So be aware. I know a lot of people get this uh, but uh, by not knowing the all specific of the stock market you could just buy it on the wrong time so be aware and if you are really sure about the company you could buy on the, its peak then you can buy a month later when it like drops minus 30 you could buy there and uh, yeah you can uh, buy it every month and uh, yeah gurus say if you are diversifying by time you get more more returns and less risks anyway let's continue on a simple safe dividends about the shares outstanding because uh, this is uh, almost uh, very good indicator about the stock price if this goes really significantly up the share price is oftenly goes really badly down but here's yeah the shares are are, are, are um, increasing which is not so good for investors i know they're raising the money but uh it's a good for company but for investors it's not so so good so 10 10 years ago yeah so they doubled shares uh, in a 10 years and total sales as you can see it's dropping down so it's not not good and uh, investing.com summer of the stock for long-term investors as a strong buy so you can see here 92 percent up currently so when I started recording the video it was 9.5 or something so it's currently 10.5 and uh, yeah there's a uh, there's a lot of risks but uh, if you do research well if you do enter when there's a uh, I think the most probably the best moment to enter any stock is when there's a uh, a lot of a negative going on a lot of bad news and uh, yeah at least not some some of them like bankruptcy news because so there is you, you need to research very well uh, before you are entering and yeah if you're entering the stock which made already like 93 percent it's making risks a lot of uh, a lot of risky so you it could turn out of a out of a hands and could be equalized to a lottery but anyway thanks for watching this video subscribe to the channel like the video and see you in a future one